just taken over Bank Corner. Tell me, how, how did you fall into this? Mm, how do I fall into anything? <laughs> <laughs> it was actually, it, it's still a little bit of a shock. It kind of happened very, very quickly. Mm. Uh, I had gone for a small overseas holiday and upon return, uh, the, the casual but full-time hours that I was doing with Cessnock Council came to an end. Yep. They wanted me to apply for full-time work and I just am not ready to be locked down in that regard. So I uh, had I'd left and actually applied for Centrelink. Uh, was okay. looking at doing the sole trader thing mm. full-time for photo video and doing the gigs. Um, and I woke up one day and I saw the ad on indeed.com or something bait corner no for way. sale and it was yeah i had the same kind of shock and i was like no bank corner that's that but that's an iconic little spot who mm. who like i'll just inquire yeah, so yeah. I'd, I'd sent an, uh, a message i think or made a phone call uh, and the current owner called me back the next day. We had a, it was a very brief conversation, but he'd said along the lines of, I'm paraphrasing, but uh, I'm looking for the right person to take over Bank Corner. So financially, that's not the biggest thing. It needs to be someone who's creative, courageous and energetic. Mm. And I said, Tony, I don't think you could describe me in three different words. Like it, <laughs> That's a bit of a fit. So uh, yeah, we went back and forth on a few things. Um, and it, yeah, it all kind of happened within about a month or two. Yeah. So I'm still reveling in the shock a little bit, but it, it feels like the correct next step for me. Mm. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of energy to put into the community. And I think um, it's the perfect space and project for me uh, to to take on. I'm still Definitely. Yeah, nervous and I, I couldn't do it without the existing staff nor the community that are so supportive. So it definitely doesn't feel like a solo venture. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's... Uh, it's happened. <laughs> yeah. So I'd love to know about some of the goals um, mm -hmm. for, you know, the immediate future, because obviously there'd be heaps in the works. But yeah, let us in on a little bit of what to expect. Mm, totally. Uh, so moving forward, I'm hoping within the next kind of four to six week timetable that we'll start introducing sporadic evening events again. Yay. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I really, yeah, I love um I love Newcastle and the music and the culture and the space. Um, I don't always love the fact that you can't get a coffee and a sit down at you yes. know four o'clock, five o'clock in the <laughs> afternoon or a meal. So I do. We we are looking at maybe having um, still the day trade remaining as mm. is, but then taking a bit of a siesta and coming back in the evening. So we'll Beautiful. trial that with a few one-off events just to be able to grow the staff in a um, realistic way. I don't want to overwhelm mm. um, what we've already got going because it is a small team and a small space, but we want to be able to upgrade um, to having those evenings uh, in, yeah. yeah. I, I don't want to say six weeks is the day. No, 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 no. <laughs> we are moving quickly towards that. So, um, and we'll, we will look at having like a light cocktail menu and beers and wines available again. It's fully licensed. Awesome. So um, we will have, yeah, music and smaller events. We are all chess nerds at Bank Corner. Oh, really? So we, yeah, we found out we all love a little bit of chess or cards. Mm -hmm. So we w would like to have, you know, just like a chess evening and, and spaces like yes. that that um, open up the space for the community in different ways with, again, different creative outlets, mm -hmm. um, whether it is more so a performance piece or having the community involved themselves. I'm not sure if you remember, I used to run the sketch party years and years and years ago. So I don't even think I was around for the sketch party, oh, to be I, honest. It was only a short-lived thing. Um, we got a small amount of funding with Awesome Newcastle. Yeah, uh, okay. When that was, I think they may still be going, but mm. um, that was run out of Hudson Street Hum. And the whole initiative behind the sketch party um, it was just bringing people together in a less intimidating environment to be able to try creative outlets. So yeah, cool. just wrap the tables in paper and supply different <laughs> materials and you can just sit and draw on the tables. Mm. Um, but I find giving people a little bit of a um, little bit of stimulation or a barrier between um, one another, you know, you're not just sitting across the table talking. <laughs> it's um, terrifying. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm not nervous now <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> but yeah, it, it really creates this different sense of connection when people feel less um, 
intimidated, especially mm. with I think sometimes the creative scene and creative industry can be a little bit intimidating for people who haven't grown up with it and yeah. don't play an instrument or have never drawn or painted in their life. And I think that it should be something accessible to everyone in a fun way. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, food and coffee is still definitely the premise of, of <laughs> Bank Corner, but um, I would love to see a little bit more of that um, creative injection from, from the local community and have it a bit more of an open shared space. Mm. I'd love to know because when I first found out that Bank Corner was, you know, being – sold on I kind of thought immediately oh, okay it's just going to get knocked down you know we're going to lose this gorgeous part of the community that we have have you felt the pressure <laughs> of keeping that going yeah there's definitely I mean I probably put the most pressure on myself yeah I'd, of course I <laughs> haven't necessarily felt um you know a heavy-handed expectation mm. uh but there definitely is it, it's such an iconic spot and there's such a history so I think it's about 13 years the wow, cafe's been okay. there um and so the previous owner also had started goldbergs which was another big iconic oh. spot you know so yeah i think there is that element um that i would like to respect and carry that through irrespective of the community pressure mm. um i think there's a few things infrastructure wise and just in terms of the flow of service and the way that um we can update things to be in line with the current industry standards yeah. and things, um, especially once having music and whatnot in the space. I think making sure that there's functionality to the space that, you know, if we do have more people in there, that yeah. it's, you know, still a safe and comfortable space. Mm. I've definitely applied the pressure myself the most, mm. more than anything, I think. And especially with some of our most iconic local intimate spaces closing down, whether they already have or in the new future, yeah. changing hands. Um I do uh, – there is that moral grounding and, and that attachment to sense of community that I would really like to, yeah, keep a hold of yeah. because I think for me as well, hospitality has always been something that's kept me going and it, it it's a passion that, um, yeah, has just kept me wanting to keep going day to day. So it's been, I don't know, maybe close to – Wow, when I think about it, close to 20 years in hospitality um, on the side of studies through uni and things like yeah, that. And yeah. it's always been something that... What do you love about it? It's the connection with people of a demographic that you don't always get exposed to, I think. Mm, it's okay. a really interesting... I've never been able to put my finger <laughs> yeah. on it because it's such a love-hate relationship. Yeah. I mean, there's times <laughs> where the last thing I want to do is be talking mm. to and serving people. but It's hard is, work. Yeah, um, but there is a sense of connection and community that I take from that that I haven't been able to find in a, another workplace. Yeah. We have such a creative existing staff um, crew already mm. that um, there's artists, graphic designers, musos, like there's already such a space there with the existing staff um, that I think I would like to just encourage and inspire um, that space to continually grow in that direction. It's, yeah, yeah. I'm still learning for myself what the <laughs> what the process is because it is such a um, a broad platform. I think you know it's not just about the coffee and the food. There's yeah. those connections, um, and especially having those intimate spaces for gigs again. I know that we're getting a bit of an injection for some of our bigger venues, mm. the Vic Theatre and having, you know, the Hamo and and those spaces that have a bigger stage. But, you know, for some of us smaller musicians and yes. in newer spaces and those that feel a bit more vulnerable having those areas where, um, you know, it might just be a quaint crowd of people who are intimately listening. But um, We need those spaces. They're yeah. so important. And I think they are becoming a bit few and far between mm -hmm. because the small business owner, you know, the heart break of Frank he's closing down yes. at the moment and the DA processes behind I know council is getting a little bit more supportive of the um, music and entertainment scene and there is a lot more funding accessible but the hoops and the the applications yeah. for those um, I don't think that's an accessible process necessarily yeah um, and so I think my engineering background with council is a little bit of a, <laughs> uh, a bonus to have there in that um, I, I can kind of uh, assess those things to some degree and know how the processes have to be yeah yeah mm. all right well thank you so much for coming in and I want to say the biggest congratulations on taking over Bank Corner there's seriously no one else in Newey that's more perfect to 
take on such an iconic place. So thanks heaps. <laughs> Thank you so much for the support. And yeah, we love what you do here. It's um, an absolute honour to have been yeah, able to share it. So thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Hell yeah. Thank Good you. Day, day.